Hi there. Welcome. Come on in and get yourself nice and comfortable. How are you feeling? Okay. Well, I can see we have you down here for a full neurological assessment. Is that right? Okay. Tell me a little bit about what's brought you here today, why this is necessary, in your own words. Okay. Well, just know, to begin with, there's nothing to worry about. Okay? There'll be nothing painful as part of any of these tests, and all you need to do is your best. If there's something you can't answer, something that's not obvious to you, then just let me know, because it helps me to paint a picture of what's going on. Okay? Yep. Please don't feel self-conscious. Please don't feel worried about any of it. We're just going to work our way through these tests. And tests, there are quite a few. So, we have a cognitive test to begin with, which basically means... I'm going to be testing memory and things like that, showing you pictures, asking you to identify things from the pictures, thinking of lists, things like that. And then the rest are physical assessments. We'll be looking at things like the cranial nerves, nerves in your head, the way you're standing, coordination, muscle strength, reflexes, sensation, lots of things to do. At any point you need to take a break, please let me know, and we can come back at another time and do these. But if you feel able, it would be great to get all of these done in one go. So are you ready? Fantastic. So what we'll do is I'll shuffle these notes around on my clipboard and we'll start with a cognitive test. There's lots of fun things to look at as we go. I'll show you on the clipboard and I'll let you know what kind of answers I'm looking for. Okay? Fantastic. So to begin with, we're going to make some links between numbers and pictures of dice. I'll explain to you what I mean. I have a big picture here for you to look at. So can see here are the numbers 1 to 6 and the corresponding numbers on the dice. And the first couple have been done for you. So for example, number 1 goes to the number 1 on the dice. Thereafter, the number 2 follows the number 1. And that would go to the number two on the dice. So what I would like you to do is tell me where to go next and I will mark it on with my pen. So we can see how you've done when I'm writing up my report. So one went to one dot, two went to two dots. Where next? Okay to number three. Is that right? Great. And where after the number three? Great. So cross to three dots. Yes? Down here. Good. So after three dots, where do we go next? Absolutely right, well done. Up to the number four. And after that number four, where next? Right again, four dots. Following on from four dots, where would you like me to place the next arrow? 
Good. The number five. Well done. So, is that right? Down to this one here. Good. From the number five, where next? Good. To those five dots. From five dots, where are we heading then? Good. To the number six. And finally, there's only one more place to go. Where are we going after the number six? Very good. To those dots again. So, take a quick look for me. Are you happy with all of those lines that I've drawn? Great. Fantastic. My question sheet bag. I'll just make some notes because as you'll see online, I have a tiny version right there. I'm going to read out five words to you and over the next few minutes I'm going to ask you to just recall them for me. Is that okay? So your words are rose, chair, hand, blue and spoon. I'll give you those one more time. Rose, chair, hand, blue, and spoon. Try and put those in the memory banks and I'll be asking you to recall them. Okay? Fantastic. Next, I'm going to give you one minute and I would like you to recall as many names of fruits as you can. So just off the top of your head, start naming fruits I'll be scribbling them down. If you reach a point before the end of the minute where you can't remember any more, that's absolutely fine. When you're ready. Great. Yep. Good. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Any more? Fantastic. That's a lovely long list right there. So, now we've listed some fruits. Can you remember those words for me? They don't have to be in any specific order. Good. Well done. Next, tell me, without looking at your watch or your phone, what time is it? And what day of the week is it? What's the month? And the year, what year is it? And where are we, the name of this building? And outside of this building, where are we?
Fantastic. Next, I'm going to name some objects for you and I would like you to tell me the relationship between them. So for example, if I said orange and green, you might say to me they are colours. Okay? Great. There are three for you to think about. So the first pairing are train and boat. What's the relationship between those two? Thank you. Your next two words are north and south. What's the relationship there? And your final pairing, drum and flute. What's the relationship between the words drum and flute? Fantastic. So, those words again, can you remember them again in any order? Fantastic. Next, it's another picture for you to take a look at. I'll show you this on my clipboard once again. I'm going to show you a picture with lots of jumbled up images. What I would like you to do is just identify as many of those as you can. Is that okay? Fantastic. So let me hold this up for you. And when you're ready, identify all of the objects that you can. Give you a few more seconds. Great. Thank you very much. That one can be quite tricky, so well done. Let me tell you this. Within that picture, there were scissors, a t-shirt, a banana, a lamp, a candle, a watch, a cup, a leaf, a key, and a spoon. So lots and lots to unpick from that picture. Next, a much easier picture to look at. I'm going to show you a picture of four animals. And all you need to do is identify them. So let me show you these pictures. They're clearly not to scale. <laughs> but if you could please identify them for me, please. Fantastic, thank you very much. So there we had a zebra. A peacock, a tiger, and a butterfly. So those words that I asked you to remember, tell me, which one was an item of furniture? Which one was a part of the body? Which one was a utensil? Which one was a colour? And which one was a flower? Fantastic. 
mark off those elements as well. Two more tests for you on this cognitive assessment. And the first is a little number work, but don't worry, there is no maths involved. I simply would not allow that in one of my assessments. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you a list of numbers. Here's the list for you to take a look at. And all you need to do, when I name a number that's in a circle, just stop me so I know that you've seen it, okay? Great. So, here we go. One. Good. Five. Eight. Well done. Three. Nine. Two. Good. Zero. Three. Good. Nine. Yes. Four. Well done. Zero. Two. One. Six. Yes, very good. Eight, seven, well done. Four, six, seven, five. Yes, well done. How was that? Tricky or quite easy? Good. And then the last one on here. Once again, it's more numbers, but slightly increasing in difficulty this time. Here's your list of numbers to look at. Okay, so quite similar, but this time I'm looking for numbers in circles and squares. So if you see a number in a circle or a square, then please stop me, okay? So here we go. Three. Eight. Good start. Well done. Five. One. Three. Good. Zero. Two. Well done. Nine. Good. Two. Zero. Well done. Four. Yes. Nine. Good. That's right. Seven. Eight. Good. Six. One. Well done. Five. Yes. Seven. Six. Four. One, good, five, that's right, eight, three, nine, good, two, zero, three, nine, yes, four, good, zero, Two, that's right. One, good. Six, eight, well done. Seven, four, good. Six, seven, well done. Five, that's great. And how was that one? Easy, tricky. Often when we're looking for two different shapes, that can be much trickier. Okay, good. Just make a note of that. So, that is all of the tests that make up the cognitive assessment. 
So that's the part where I assess what's going on in that brain directly. And all the rest follow a similar medical exam format, okay? Great. So I'll mark off that we've done that. That can head off for a board. Right. Are you happy for me to be touching in and around your face, shoulders, things like that? I'll be doing assessments, yes, of the face, the shoulders. I'll also be doing reflexes on the knees, if that's okay. Great. As I say, if at any point it's uncomfortable, or it's painful, which it shouldn't be, or if you'd like to stop and take a break, then please do. I'm going to put on a pair of gloves, and then we'll get started. What I'm going to do first doesn't require touching you at all. What I'm going to do first is simply have a look. So I'd like to look at your face, looking at how that sits, and then also looking at how you hold yourself. That gait, which is what we call it, okay? Fantastic. So, just stand as you normally would. I know that sounds a little odd when somebody's asking you to do something you normally do. Just stand as you would normally. And then, of course, it's very odd if somebody's looking you over as well. Just looking for anything to begin with. I might just point to any neurological problems. Great. What I'm going to do, you stay where you are, just going to go around the back and just take a look from the back that everything looks the same as it does at the front, okay? Okay, fantastic. Now take a second. And that's looking, yeah, fantastic from the back. Yep, wonderful. Go ahead and relax again. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be making notes as I go. I certainly wouldn't be able to remember all of this. So we're going to start with some olfactory senses. Your sense of smell. Have you noticed any changes in your sense of smell recently? Okay. Well, I have three little bottles here each of which contains a different scent. They are very common everyday scents, so you shouldn't have any problems identifying them. But if you do, just let me know it's no problem at all, okay? What I'll do is I'll wave it under your nose, have a good breath in through the nose, good sniff, okay? Okay, so ready for the first one. breath in through the nose. What was that scent? Good, well done. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Second one, same thing again. Keep breathing through your nose, that should clear out any remaining scent from before. Same thing again, ready? What scent is that one? Good. And the deep breaths in through the nose while I prepare the third one. One more time, ready? Gosh, that one's strong, I can smell that from here. What scent is that? Fantastic, well done. A few more breaths in and out through the nose. Clear those scents. Any difficulties there? Okay. Next, I'm going to move on to your eyes. Is that okay? 
Any problems with your eyes recently? Have you noticed any changes in your vision at all? Okay. What I'm going to do to begin with is show you this. A box standard eye chart. I'd like you to read from the big letter at the top as far down as you can. Okay? It doesn't matter where you stop. Just when it's not quite as clear, just let me know. Okay? So... Here we go. Have a read. Anything further? No problem at all, well done. How was that? It should get increasingly difficult as those letters get smaller. Mm. Okay. This time, I'm going to be looking in your eyes with a pen light. So I'm going to be asking you to follow it, look away from it, all sorts of different things. If at any point you feel a little dazzled or it's too bright, just let me know, okay? Great. So, what I'm going to do is begin by shining it in both of your eyes, okay? You don't need to look at it, you can either look at me or beyond me, I don't mind. Ready? Okay, here we go. Good, well done. Looking here at how your pupils are responding to a bright light. Good. Keep looking ahead for me. Well done. Good. This time, carrying on looking at me or beyond me, I'm going to shine the light in each eye, your right eye and your left eye, but I'm going to be looking at what's happening in the one without the light, okay? So the light will be shining in your eye for a little longer, but it will have a good blink afterwards, okay, to clear the dazzling. So, this eye first, ready? Looking straight ahead for me. Okay, good. Everything okay? Still looking ahead, this eye next. Okay, good. Have a really good blink. I'm gonna make some notes. with the light, but coming in from above this time, I shall be swinging the light in and out. This eye first, then this eye. Ready? Yeah, once again, look straight ahead for me. Good. Well done. Fantastic. Other eye. Ready? Well done. Good, one more time. Yeah, fantastic. Let's take a break from that light. How was that? Again, have another good blink. What I'd like you to do now, dazzling all gone, is look at my nose. And while you're looking at my nose, I'm going to be wiggling my fingers. And I just need you to tell me if you can see me wiggling my fingers without looking at them. Concentrating on my nose, okay? So, looking at my nose, tell me when you see my fingers wiggle. Good. 
Well done. We'll do this a few more times. Just tell me when you can see them wiggle. Good. Well done. Good. A couple more. Good. Yeah, well done. Any problems there at all? Great. Next, I'd like to show you a grid. And on the grid, there is a dot in the middle. I'd like you to focus on that dot. I'll hold it up for a few seconds and I'd like you to tell me if the dot disappears or if anything happens around the edge of the grid, okay? No problem. So, here's the grid. Concentrate. Okay. Hold this up for you, apologies. And this dot in the centre. Fantastic. So, when you concentrated your focus on that dot, did the dot disappear? Mm -hmm. Did anything happen to the edges of the grid? Anything around the outside of the grid? Great. Next, I'd like to take a look at your peripheral vision. So to begin with, two fingers together to move them until they're no longer in your line of sight. And as soon as those fingers disappear, let me know. Ready? Here we go. Good. And again. Fantastic. One more time. Good. This way this time. Ready? Good. And again. Yeah, well done. One more time. Fantastic. Next, I'd like you to look at me and I will be wiggling my finger. The edges of your vision. You just need to tell me when you can see them. Okay, so focusing on me. Ready? Good. Well done. Very good. Great. In from the top this time. Good. Good. Well done. Yeah, fantastic. No problems with peripheral vision there. This time what I'm going to do is cover each eye one at a time. And you'll need to tell me when you can no longer see my finger. Okay? I'll use this to cover your eye. This eye first. Ready? Great. So, you know when you can't see the finger anymore? Good. 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 Well done. Same thing, other side. Ready? Let me know when you can't see the finger. Good. Well done. Yes. Fantastic. Well done. Any problems there at all? Okay. 
before I use these again, I would just like to take a look into the back of your eyes with this, if possible. This is a bright light and it will go very close to your eyes, okay? This side first, just look straight ahead for me, please, okay? Right, here we go. Fantastic. Give it a good blink for me. This side next. Same thing again. Ready? Fantastic. Thank you very much. No issues there in the backs of the eyes. Once again, back to this, but this time I will be using two, one for each eye. I will be covering your eyes and then letting the light in very quickly, just to watch what both your eyes do, okay? If it's not uncomfortable, I'll do it two or three times. Ready? Here we go. Is that okay? Great, a couple more times then, ready? Great, one more time. Fantastic, thank you very much. Any problems there, other than the sudden bright light. Okay, moving away from the lights now. What I'd like you to do is quite simply follow my finger, okay? So instead of looking beyond this time, you're looking at my finger. Good. Well done. Good. Fantastic. Well done. Relax those eyes for a moment. Next, what I'd like you to do is close your eyes when I tell you and I'm going to be touching your face with this. It's very, very soft. Just let me know when you can feel this. Touch your face, okay? Great. Close those eyes for me. Okay, here we go. Good. Well done. Good, a couple more. Good, last one. Good. Open those eyes again. Tell me, did everything feel the same? Mm -hmm. Nothing felt different on any other part of your face. Okay. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing again to close those eyes for me. But this time when I touch your face, sometimes it will be with this very soft feathered end and other times with this end. It isn't pointy, it isn't sharp, but it is wooden. So it will feel very different to the feathers. And all I need you to do is tell me whether it's the feather or the wooden part touching your face, okay? Eyes closed for me again, please. Here we go. Good. Well done. Good. 
good. Great. A couple more. Good. Last time. Okay. You can open those eyes again. Other than the difference in sensation, any problems there at all? Great. This time, whichever hand you write with, I'd like you to hold out in front of you. And what I'm going to do is ask you in a moment to close your eyes. And then, in your hand, I will either be placing a coin or a key. And keeping your palm open, I just need you to tell me whether you can feel the coin or the key. Ready? So, hand out for me. Great. Eyes closed. Here we go. So, what is this? Good. That's right. And again, ready? What's that one? Good. Let's do a few more. Coin or key. Ready? What's that? Good. And again. Good. Last one. What's that? Great. Thank you very much. You can open those eyes. Any problems discerning between the coin and the key at all? This time, I would like you to hold out your hands for me. This way or that way, I don't mind. What I'm going to do is ask you to close your eyes again. While your eyes are closed, I'm going to put one finger down on your hand. Like so. And all I need you to do is tell me which of your fingers I've moved, okay? So, hands out for me. Eyes closed. Okay, ready? Which finger was that? Good, and again. Which finger? Good, couple more, ready? finger that time. Good, one more. Which finger that time? Good, well done. Open those eyes. Any problems there at all? Good. This time, what I'm going to do is strike a tuning fork. And then, once I've done so, place it on your hand, like that. I just need you to tell me if you can feel the vibration in your hand. Once I've done that, I shall do the same on each shoulder, okay? Great, so, this hand out first for me. You can keep your eyes open for this one. Ready? Do you feel the vibration on the palm of your hand? Great. Other hand. Ready? How was that? Okay. Did they feel broadly similar? 
Great. Same thing again with your shoulder this time. We're placing it here. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Does that feel okay? With the obvious benefit that it sounds good. This shoulder. Ready? that feel the same on both shoulders? You are able to feel the vibration. Great. Next, what I'd like to do is just touch gently around your jaw. And while I'm touching your jaw, I'd like you to open and close it as if you're chewing or talking or something like that, okay? Any discomfort, let me know. Here we go. So, when you're ready, open that jaw for me with your mouth, essentially. Great chewing motion, if you can. Well done. Say a few words to me. That's great. Thank you very much. Any discomfort there at all? This time, I'm going to place my hand underneath your chin and I'd like you to try and move it and talk. Okay, here we go. Ready? So, try and say a few words for me. Great. A few more, please. Great, thank you. Any problems there, any discomfort? Mm. This time, I'm going to use this tiny little hammer here. I'm going to put my finger on your chin and then gently tap it with the hammer. I'm going to go directly on your chin, tapping my finger. Okay? If any problems, tell me and we'll stop. Ready? Good. One more time. Great, well done. Was that okay? I know that's not particularly pleasant. Great. I'll carry on looking at reflexes if I may. So the first thing I'd like to do with this slightly larger hammer is take a look at the reflexes in the arms. Again, this shouldn't be painful at all, so let me know if it is. This arm first, if you just extend your arm for me and I'll hold it underneath and then give that arm a few taps. Okay, arm out for me. Is that comfortable? Here we go. All right. Good. Good. One more. Great. Take the weight of that arm back. This side, same thing again. Ready? You take the weight there. Same thing again. Okay, go. Good. And again. Fantastic. One more time for me. Good. Take the weight back. Fantastic. Well, that's doing exactly as it should. Next, probably the most uncomfortable part of all of these tests, looking at your corneal reflex. To take this cotton bud and gently touch the corner of your eye with it. So I just need you to look forwards or look up. And what I'll do is 
I'll bring it in from this way. So hopefully it won't make a jump. All I'm looking for is a blink. And as soon as that blink happens, I'll remove it. Okay, so this side first. Ready? Okay, here we go. Nice and brave for me. Good, well done. Let's grab another. Same thing again on this side. Okay, here we go. Yeah, well done. Have a good blink and look around. Of all the reflexes, that's the uh, least pleasant. But it worked. <laughs> Okay, next, the big hammer. I'd like to take a look at your knee reflexes, please. Okay, so, stay where you are. What I'm going to do is just tap this underneath your knee and see what happens. This leg first, okay? Right, here we go. One more time. Good. Same on this side. Ready? Okay, here we go. Is that okay? Good. One more time. Good. Relax. That's my favourite of the reflexes. Any knee pain at all? Yeah, there were no problems there. That's the first page done. One down, another half to go. Need to take a break, anything like that. Okay to carry on powering through. Yep, there's not too much left to do. Okay, the last of the reflexes is tapping on your forehead just to see if that elicits any blinks or not. Okay, so ready? Good. One more time. Yeah, well done. This time I'm going to look at your sense of taste. And what I have is three little swabs prepared. There is a flavour on each of these. All you need to do is open your mouth and I will roll the swab around on your tongue. You need to tell me what you can taste. Is that okay? Much like the scents, they're very common flavours, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, great. No allergies or anything like that before we begin. Okay, so first one, open your mouth for me. Here we go. What flavour is that? Fantastic. Grab the other two. Everything okay for another flavour? Some water there if you need it. Ready? Open wide. What flavour is that? Mm. Obviously an artificial version of it. Finally, last one. Open wide for me. What flavour is that? Great. Grab some water, have a good drink. I'll just make some notes. Do some facial movements then. So, 
raise those eyebrows for me like you're really surprised. Give me a good frown. Raise them up again. And frown for me. Great. This time, what I'd like you to do is scrunch your eyes up tight. And when they're tightly closed, I'm going to try and open them gently with my thumbs. I just need you to try and make sure I can't open them. Okay? Great. So, eyes closed for me. Eyes closed. And then don't let me open those eyes. So, right eye first. Ready? Okay. And then your left eye. Ready? Okay, that's great. Open those eyes. Any problems there at all? Certainly some good strength in those eyelids. Great. Puff out those cheeks for me. Give me a smile. Whistle something for me. If you can't whistle, just act out the motion of whistling for me. back to the tuning fork quickly. This time closer to your ears. So playing it once into the right ear, once into the left ear and then on top of your head. When it goes on top of your head the same thing as with your shoulders and hands. It's can you feel that vibration. But for the ears it's can you hear it well and does it sound similar in both ears. Okay so this year first, ready? Okay. Okay. And then this year. Same thing again. Okay. okay. And for as odd as this may feel, top of the head. Ready? How was that? Could you hear it well in both ears? Good. Did it sound the same? Excellent. And did you feel the vibration on top of your head? Mm -hmm. Next, a little look at the mouth, if I may. What I'm going to do is use the pen light again, but it won't be going in your eyes this time. I shall be using this just to Hold down your tongue and the pen light to have a little look around your mouth. So, open nice and wide for me, please. That's great. So here, just looking at the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the uvula, the back of the throat. Checking that everything looks as it should. Okay, thank you very much. Still looking at the mouth, say ah for me. And again, ah. Stick that tongue out for me please. Next. 
next, I'm going to place my hand on your cheek, first the right, then the left, and I'd like you to press your tongue against the inside of your cheek so that I can feel it on the outside with my hand, okay? This side first, ready? Okay, so push that tongue into the side of your cheek. Wonderful. And the same on this side, ready? This side, push that tongue into the side of your cheek. Fantastic. Have a good cough for me, please. And again. Great. And then swallow for me. I know that can be difficult doing it on demand, but good swallow. Next, I'd like you to shrug your shoulders for me, please. And again. Next, I want to place my hands on your shoulders and I would like you to shrug against some downward pressure. Again, nothing too hard. Okay, so, comfortable? Give those shoulders a shrug for me. Good. And again. Ooh, well done. Any problems there at all? Great. Next, while I'm making some notes, I'd like you to hold out your arms in front of you and just keep them there. Okay. If it becomes uncomfortable, put them down. They can go down. Thank you very much. Next, what I would like you to do is take the finger of your left hand and place it on your nose, please. Finger of the other hand to your nose. Great. A little more complicated now. I'd like you to touch your nose and then touch my finger. I'll be moving my finger. The minute you've touched my finger, touch your nose again. Okay, choose whichever you, hand you like. So, touch your nose, touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Good, couple more. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. 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 Well done. Good. Very good. Next. What I would like you to do is Tap your index fingers to your thumbs. Like I do when I ask you to blink. So, tap, tap, tap at a reasonable speed, please. Good, any problems there at all? Finally, what I would like you to do is flip your hands over for me a few times, like so, or like so. Flip those hands over for me. Very good. Relax. All done. Take these gloves off. That is the end of my test. How was that? Anything surprise you? Anything you struggled with that you weren't anticipating on? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to 
add to my notes any tests you'd like to go back over, any explanations that you'd like for why we did them. Great. Do you have any questions for me at all? Mm -hmm. No, I like to think we were rather comprehensive there. So here's what we'll do now. I will go away and collate all of this information and put it into a report. I'll send that to you, I'll send that to your doctor and any other medical professional who needs it. However, before you go, I'd like to let you know that I've seen nothing today that's of concern which is great news. We've been very thorough, very comprehensive, so hopefully there's nothing that we've missed. But when you come away from here, if you notice any symptoms, if anything feels strange, or if anything changes or feels different, then please let us know. Get back in touch, drop us an email, give us a phone call, and we'll see you straight away. But in the meantime, Thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for being very patient, patient with all of my tests. And as I say, once you've got these results, any questions, then get back in touch. But for now, take care.